off-roading as being a peaceful activity. No. But apparently it is. That's because you look at the commercials where they're, they're like jumping and whipping through it. <laughs> So here at the Fall River Inn, they have a patio bar, happy hour maybe, I don't know, that's open from 9 to 6. How about from 6 to 9? Yeah, that's right, 6 to 9. 9 to 6 would be a lot of open. Yeah. Live music, live music tonight. I hear them. This is fun. We get lost, so you don't have to. <laughs> Oh, I see stairs. This is patio. Hot tub. Oh, yeah, there's a few hot tubs around. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good job for you. Uh, hi, don't you know? Ooh. <laughs> it depends how hoppy it is. Is that basically? Yeah. There you go. Now we are in a know. <laughs> Girl. Yeah, I'm not a huge IPA person. Oh, see? This is very popular. I'm pretty hoppy sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes a little sad, sometimes yeah. hoppy. He's hoppy. Oh, that's too happy for me. But you may like that. It's not bad. Let's do it. And the other one's uh, the other one's amber. amber. Yeah, let's try the amber. Do you want to do the IPA? No, let's try the amber. Do the amber. Do try, it yeah. try it first. Try it to make sure he likes it. I think I might do the fat. Do the what? That's tire. Oh. I think I'm gonna do a fat tire. The first fat tire? place I ever had fat tire was in Colorado, so. That's where they make it. And so here we are again. Perfect. Thanks so much. Oh. Uh, fat tire. Okay. I got. And this is the amber. Amber. Shall you try it? Yeah. The amber is yeah. good. So we used to have a Jeep that we sold, and um, we that never we never took four wheeling. Yeah. So Paul was like rather upset about this. So he's like, "Okay, we're gonna go to my old stomping grounds in Colorado, and we're gonna go for off roading." So here we are. Let's go off roading. Let's do it. <laughs> There's the sky. There's the dead. There's me. I don't think of off-roading as being a peaceful activity, no? but apparently it is. That's well, because you look at the commercials where they're, they're like jumping and whipping through <laughs> it. It's, it's like, that's not four-wheeling. <laughs> that's like Baja. <laughs> There's the name to this trail. I've never seen any before. It was beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, here we are. This is the top of well, the top of the mountain. Well, I have loops back around, it goes up and around, but we're gonna call this the top. Top of our off-roading. 
Top of our operating. There's the Jeep. And there's the view. There's the view. It's amazing. Yeah. And we have video of going up this too. So it's yeah, and we're going to take them in there just a touch. Yeah. Okay, let's oh. go. All right, so we're gonna do our top five, what we think is the top five for this place. Right, so we are at the Inn on Fall River. Um, good to know. Good to know. Good Got to know where we are it. first, yeah. yes. Okay. So number five, what do you think number five is? I, ah, gosh. So number five is, number one's gonna be the best. So number five, I think it's, I think it's location, what do you, your okay, I think number five is the fact that they, they have the little bar there oh, and have yeah. happy hours and they have the grill pits here and you can do that too. So for me, I think the number five is just like the little extras they put into the place to make it special. I think that's a top, the fifth okay. reason to stay here is just the things that make it a little bit extra special than just nothing else. Yeah. So number five is, is the amenities, yeah. I guess. the. Uh, the little bar with the music, the after hours music, and the grills. Okay, I agree. Good. Number four. So you're gonna turn it off and have that on me. So, yeah. So we're running right through. Oh, number four. Hey, number four is the wildlife. <laughs> the wildlife. Hey, Lisa here. just saw one of the chipmunks run by. That reminded me. Or yeah, the so. pikas. I think they call them pikas. I... No, the pikas are a little bit different. Oh, okay. That's a chipmunk. Okay, how because they be are way up high. So staying in this area, we have seen. These little chipmunks are coming up right to you everywhere you go. But then the, we saw this elk and the rack army elk was as big as our Jeep. I have never seen, seen anything like that. And that wasn't in the park. That was just whirling around right, right, right here. <laughs> so um, we only got a picture of the back end of it. So, but I, so I would say number four is just the wildlife and everything that they have around here. So when you're here, have your camera ready all the time. All the time. Because you never know when you see some really cool bite side. Yes. We missed that one, but there's another one we got up in the park. It was incredible too. So, okay. so the wildlife. Number three. Number three. I think, okay, what do you think number three is? Um, why well, keep going right to the location, but that must be my number one because I keep all the location's amazing. Yeah. The river is right there. Right. So, okay, stop. So, stop. so number three, I would say is actually the rooms. So they have done a really nice job with these rooms. Now we, because this was our steel place, we stayed in one of the cheapest rooms that they have. And it was still really nice. Fireplace, as your coffee pot, it's super clean. Yeah, overlooking this amazing river. So, but if you don't want to stay in the cheap place, this place could also be not a splurge, but, but a very reasonably priced, really nice thing. Because some of the rooms here have full kitchens in them. They have fireplaces between the bedroom and the bathroom. Um, so it is, it is, a, there's a whole lot of different things here. So I would say that the number three thing is actually the rooms and the different so. rooms types that you can get. Okay. Don't now, forget the rooms all have fireplaces and some of the rooms have hot tubs in them. And some of the rooms have, tubs. some of the rooms have hot tubs in them and some of the rooms have outdoor private hot tubs. Oh, right. So that makes this very, very cool buzz. But then there's a communal hot tubs too. Yeah. There's a couple of communal hot tubs around the, the complex. Yeah, so. you don't get the one with the hot tub. You still get a hot tub. Yeah. So cool, but who's in swimmer? It's kind of hot tub country. Right? Yeah, okay. So you get to be number two. What do you think number two is? I think that actually number two here is, this is sort of a romantic hotel. It, you know, because there's not a lot of units here, because they're done very nice, because they have, you know, the jacuzzis and the jacuzzis outside and the fire pits and this river going through it. You know, I kind of think of this as a romantic, like little hotel. You know, for a little romantic getaway, this is brownie for sure. I, I mean, totally come to the And it's always the key is if we come back again, and I, I'm from back here and hurt. Yeah, I think that, you know, the the steel that we got for the room directly overlooking the river and how clean it is and everything, the price point, that would be my number one reason to stay with this location. 
with the price point and everything can be the reason I am picked this. Now, the location, we are three miles from the entrance of the Fall River entrance to Rocky Mountain National Park, which is what we did this morning. We got up and did sunrise at the park, which was fabulous. There was nobody there. Recommend it. Oh my gosh. So early. We saw so many animals and see them all. And then um, you're only about maybe two or three miles from the town. Yeah, yeah. So here, really, yeah. So there's a great downtown walking area, which you'll see, and you're only like a couple of minutes from there too. So I think that the location, the setting, it's the setting, okay, you know, the it's the setting, it's the location, but it's also the setting that you've all lived. So that's my number one reason, and I would absolutely stay. But yeah, then again, I think it's well, for sure. Although we never always see these points. Because we need to show you guys a lot of different policy stuff. But this is definitely a beat. This is where it braced it. Good job, Lisa. Boom, put it there.